Welcome to Lizard Labs on the Simplicity Studio training module. This module will explain what Simplicity Studio is and how to use it. This is Simplicity Studio, a hub for everything EFM32 related. Here, reference manuals, datasheets and API documentation are only a few clicks away. Start Simplicity Studio by clicking the icon on the desktop. When you start Simplicity Studio, you will find the product selector on the left hand side. The product selector is used to select a specific energy micro device. If you know the part number of the device you want to examine, you can select this device directly by typing in the part number. If you are not sure about the part number, you can press this green button to open a graphical interface where you can select a device based on your application requirements. When a device is selected, many of the buttons in Simplicity Studio change meaning and will direct you to information about the device you just selected. For instance, if I'm working with the Giant Gecko Starter Kit, I know that the MCU on board is the Giant Gecko 990. So I can just type in GG990 and I will get a selection of the devices which matches this partial product number. Now I have selected the Giant Gecko EFM32GG990F1024. On the top row, you find buttons that open the different Energy Micro software tools. The Energy Aware Commander is used together with Energy Micro kits. It can read out information of the kit itself, the MCU that is on board the kit, and it can control the J-Link debugger included on the kit. The Energy Aware Designer is a pin planner for Energy Micro devices. In addition to being a pin planner, the designer can also auto-generate initialization code for many of the peripherals. The Energy Aware Profiler is a graphical interface for the Advanced Energy Monitor, the current measurement tool that is included on all Energy Micro kits. With this, you can monitor the real-time current consumption of the kit MCU while running your own code. All these tools are presented in more details in separate Lizard Labs lessons. The second row contains links to device documentation. As you can see, you'll find reference manuals, datasheets, router lists, and even the Cortex-M reference manual for the CPU. All these links are updated to open the documentation for the device that is actually selected with the product selector. So if I now click the datasheet, it will open the datasheet for the EFM32GG990, which I just selected in the product selector. The third row is for software and kits. Clicking API documentation will open a browser where you can explore programmer's documentation for EMLIB, which is Energy Micro's peripheral API, along with documentation for kit drivers and the Energy Micro USB stack. The fourth row contains links to online resources, such as our web pages, our users forum, and the support pages. You will also find a link to all the product presentations and brochures and even a learning module that is made for university students. With an offering of over 240 microcontrollers, it can be difficult to quickly identify which EFM32s could be usable for your application. The product selector offers a parametric search which allows you to quickly narrow down the selection. The product selector is opened by clicking the green button next to the search field in the top left corner of Simplicity Studio. This is the product selector. As you can see, the filter parameters are sorted in five columns on the top, while the matching microcontrollers are shown in the list below. Under the list, the number of devices matching your criteria are shown. As an example, let's pretend your production process puts constraints on the package types you can use, and that the EFM32 have to come in a QFP package. When you select QFP packages in the leftmost column, all parts in other packages will be hidden in the filtered list. Further, your software department requires at least 128 kilobytes of flash. You can simply move this slider 
to further narrow down the list of possible microcontrollers. Let's say that you also need to drive a 160 segment LCD. By moving the LCD slider, the selection of possible devices is now reduced from 242 to 13, a much more manageable number. When you inspect this list, you will find MCUs with both the M3 and the M4F CPU. If you don't need the floating point or DSP capabilities the M4F CPU offers, you can further narrow down the selection by ticking off the M3 CPU only. Simplicity Studio can be downloaded for free directly from the Energy Micro website, energymicro.com. Click the Simplicity link and select Free Download. Thanks for watching this lesson from Lizard Labs. For more information, go to energymicro.com.